to talk a bit more about those results from Algeria. Mark Perelman is with me now. And Mark, let's talk first of all about this uh, controversy, this apparent discrepancy in the figures from the election body. What's going on? Well, it's very strange, actually, mm. uh, because once the results uh, were uh, proclaimed 95%, uh, a huge uh, score for uh, Abdel Majid Taboun, we had all the uh, camps of the three candidates uh, saying they were incoherent figures, not so much about those results, but about uh, the turnout, because uh, the 95% was a given uh, because uh, the other uh, potential uh, contenders were uh, pushed aside and uh, we really had uh, media apparatus tightly controlled by uh, the state and uh, so the overwhelming majority of Abdel Majid Tebboune was to be expected. But the fact that he himself, as well as the two other candidates, saying there are incoherent results, mm. it's because of the turnout. Because the real way for the Algerians to express themselves uh, in those polls was whether or not to go to vote. And uh, according to the calculations, we're more around 25% turnout rather than the official figure or of, of 40 or 40 and, uh, 42%. And so clearly that's, that's not good news uh, for uh, the regime because it means mm -hmm. uh, that the people uh, decided not to go to the polls because they, they thought uh, the uh, outcome was foretold, but also maybe and probably because they're not happy uh, with the way uh, this regime is handling the situation, uh, the economic situation, the social situation, and obviously uh, the political uh, situation. We'll have to uh, see how this pans out. We can expect uh, the heads of the Electoral Commission to be pushed aside and be punished for not doing well their homework. Uh, but clearly, uh, the fact is that Abdel Majid uh, Tebboune has been overwhelmingly uh, re-elected in what has certainly not been a democratic vote. Mm. And I think when we talk about Algeria, it's sort of odd to talk about that country without talking about its relationship with France. France, of course, um, the former colonial power. Algeria was annexed to France for a long time. And look, it's been more than 60 years since Algeria won its independence, but the relationship is still crucial and it's still pretty rocky. Exceptional. These are the words used by the presidential palace uh, here in France. They issued a statement uh, saying, you know, that they welcomed the results mm -hmm. and that the uh, relationship between France and Algeria was, quote unquote, exceptional. The problem being uh, that for a few weeks it's been exceptionally bad yeah. uh, because during uh, his first mandate, uh, there was uh, indeed a honeymoon uh, between Emmanuel Macron and Abdel Majid Tebboune. Emmanuel Macron went uh, to Algeria. There were some uh, declarations that we need to work together. The Algerian president was supposed to come to France on a state visit for several times. It was postponed, postponed, postponed. And again, until uh, in the middle of the summer, uh, the French president, in a written letter, uh, at uh, the end of July, uh, writing to the king of Morocco, the arch enemy of Algeria, uh, saying that it is putrid territory between uh, Morocco and Algeria, at least Algeria's ally, the Saharan uh, region, uh, Emmanuel Macron for the first time said that France believed the only basis for a solution was a Moroccan autonomy plan dating back from 2007. France until now had only said this was a basis for negotiation, but now by saying this was the basis, it showed that France was suddenly uh, making a U-turn and siding with Morocco. As a result, Algeria recalled its ambassador uh, to France, not for consultation, but a proper withdrawal. So there is a crisis in Franco-Algerian relations mm -hmm. as we speak. And so we'll have to see how this uh, continues. Obviously, France will have very uh, little to say about the current election because it knows that it is uh, really a very sensitive uh, country mm -hmm. when uh, you talk about Algeria here in France. All right. Thanks very much. Mark Perelman for us there.